All right, I've got another father-son story for you, but this time the father-son story is about my grandfather, Lee Petty, and my father, Richard Petty. We're gonna go back to the 1961 Daytona race. Uh, the qualifying races at that time happened on a Friday, not on Thursday like they do now, on a Friday. My father was in the first qualifying race, my grandfather was in the second. My father said he didn't know whether they were getting lapped or something was happening, but anyhow, between the start-finish line and the first corner, something came through his windshield. He said it just all of a sudden there was glass in his eyes. He goes down across the flat, comes back up the bank, goes over the guardrail out of the racetrack, exits the racetrack in a 61 Plymouth. Uh, there's photos of it. It ends up right next to the chain link fence outside of turn one. They bring my father in in an ambulance, take him to the infield care center. My grandfather and grandmother, they are waiting on him. Uh, my mom, everybody's there waiting on him. Uh, and my grandfather pulls him to the side and says, Rich said, you need to get back in a car. You need to drive my car in the qualifying races. We know that drivers can have bad wrecks and never want to get in a race car again. Uh, you got to get back up on that horse. You got to run this qualifying race. And my dad said, I can't see, I've got glass in my eyes. You run your qualifying race. You put that car in the Daytona 500. We'll be here uh, as a team and we'll make this happen. Uh, my dad said he was in the infield care center. They were removing glass from his eye. They took glass out, uh, said it hurt like Jack the Bear. Anyhow, uh, he said as he was leaving the infield care center, my grandfather and Johnny Beauchamp went over the wall and turned four. And between turn three and four, right where the tunnel is, they ended up right outside the tunnel at Daytona International Speedway uh, that comes under the racetrack in turn four. It was a horrendous accident. It was, it was, just awful to, to see the footage, to see the film. It's amazing that, that both of those drivers survived. My grandfather, they took him to the hospital. My uncle, my, my dad, everybody raced to the hospital. He was on life support. They kept him in ICU. I mean, it was, it was really a bad deal. They gave blood. They asked the grandstands, ask fans to come give blood. Uh, that's how bad this accident was. Anyhow, we fast forward to that Sunday, which is just two days later. My dad and Dale Inman are walking up and down pit road. The race is going on and Bob Welburn's team comes and finds my dad and says, hey, Bob needs some relief. Can you get in his car? My dad jumps in Bob Welburn's car, gets his helmet, jumps in Bob Welburn's car, and he's out there running around, running around. He's running just a little bit faster than Bob. So Bob got mad and wanted to get back in the car. And they kept giving the pit board, giving the pit board for my dad to come in. They didn't have radios then. And my dad never saw the pit board, just kept running, running, running. So finally they handed the pit board to Dale Inman and Dale walked out there. My dad came in the next lap. He said he saw Dale, never saw the pit board, but he saw Dale standing out next to the racetrack. My dad and Dale left the racetrack, went over to the hospital. My, my granddad was there, obviously, uh, and he pulled my, my dad and Dale and Uncle Maurice over to the, to, the, to the bed, and he said, I want you guys to go home. I want you to go to Gate City, get another car, uh, bring it home. I'll be home by Friday, and we'll go to the next race. Um, my granddad was about half right. Friday, four or five months later, he came home. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.